Hello, welcome back guys. So far what we have done is I'm repeating for the context and for warming up you. So first we have just installed git install then create account on github then make repo clone repo make changes like text files and pics and then add all files in git version control okay the files were untracked when it was added and then we added this uh, these files in git version controlling by writing command git add and dot and then we committed commit changes with a message then push changes okay so far i have executed some commands you might not digest those commands and i have much explained all the commands like in the push command i write command git push origin master so i didn't tell you what is origin what is master but we are going to discuss those things very soon so now we are going to repeat all these steps from here all these blue steps with a tool which is called smart git smart git okay so to uh, download smart git you simply need to write smart git on google and it will probably come up on the number one and you simply click on download it will take you a page something like this it is available on all platforms like windows mac and linux and all uh, the platforms have almost same user experience so the audience the students are watching this video i'm using windows but you can do the same thing exact same thing on mac machines and linux machines so simply download it you can also download portable version of this thing but i recommend you to download if you wanted to use a smart git you must need to have already installed git on your machine if you if you do not have installed git this software will not work okay because what this software does is it actually execute command on your behalf okay it is almost downloaded okay so i have downloaded a smart git in my machine and it is right here it simply download the software in zip file so what you need to do open the zip okay what you need to do is open the zip file and execute this thing okay you can simply double click to execute the software and do not extract simply run it okay you can change the installation directory but i recommend you to go with the default next okay if you wanted to create a desktop icon i don't need that okay install it might take few seconds to install okay so what is a smart git let's open the paint to understand what a smart git does let's say this is a terminal okay this is a terminal where you write all the commands for pull push and all the things and here is the smart git okay here is the smart git and here they have buttons to push pull clone and all the things okay so when you press a button here to push something it actually execute okay launch a smart git okay i don't want to launch right now finish so let's say when you do something from here it exe ac actually execute a command in the terminal okay and if you press this button they command they execute another command on the terminal okay and they have several buttons several commands and as soon as you press that button they will execute that command okay so this is actually high level description okay go back to here okay now we have downloaded so no need 
of this page simply close it and go here and we are going to clone the same repository so for cloning that you simply need to copy this URL by pressing this button it will get copied on the clipboard and now we are willing to open a smart git okay simply remove all the projects okay so it might get you confused okay remove remove okay don't you again remove okay so here is the smart git and here are some messages simply ignore that they are just messages just, just annoying so you have an option for clone right here okay before cloning i'm going to delete the project in, from my machine okay from my machine go to the projects project demo easy git and i'm going to delete this okay i'm going to clone the project here because i'm going to clone the same project so it might get uh, confused that which one is the new and which one is the old so that's why i deleted the old one okay go back to smart git simply press clone and you can see it automatically uh, get the url from your clipboard so you can simply say next and no need to change anything next and it is asking the path where you wanted to store this repository in your machine okay simply press this one and i'm going to store this in c drive and projects and here okay okay the projects finish okay it is cloning okay as soon as it clone the project you can see the files here okay you can see a folder here you can see the repository name here another way of doing this is let's say i i think uh, what i think is cloning repository from here is a little bit hard okay so i always use the command prompt for cloning repository okay and i do all further things from here from a smart git so if you want if you wanted to do the same thing what i do so what how you can do that let me demonstrate simply close it and remove it from here okay you don't have any repository in a smart git go back to the folder okay go back to the folder delete it from here too okay so i'm going to clone it again i have deleted all the things we just cloned i'm going to open command prompt here git clone and paste okay it is cloning as soon as you have complete the cloning close this terminal and drag this thing okay drag this thing and uh, okay drop it here okay you have all done so here are several different methods you can do the method you like i like this method so i demonstrate that so what i do i'm repeating what i do is i use command prompt or terminal for cloning the project okay and then i drag and drop the project right here and start working here and i never go back to the terminal after cloning okay so i told you earlier that i'm going to repeat these things so first thing is done cloning repository using a smart git is done okay now we are going to making changes and adding some text files in here okay go back to the folder and add some files okay inside the repository the dot git folder is still there some picture folders okay and a picture inside and some notes i'm going to create another note okay another note so you can see as soon as i created another file it instantly show here instantly show here and it is stated as untracked okay because this is a new file this is untracked okay with that i'm going to change the existing note okay the previous file open it and add some more lines in this file okay and save it so as soon as i save this file it it is it is listed here and it is mentioned as modified okay so this file is modified okay and go to the picture this picture and i'm going to edit this picture okay i'm going to edit and i'm going to make a mark okay make a mark in white color make some make a mark in white color make some marks and save it 
okay so as soon as i save this picture you can see the picture here and you can see the uh, you can see it is stated as modified okay so now the second step is okay make changes text files and pictures add all files in git version control okay okay in this step i am going to do two steps in the same time okay i'm going to select all these things by pressing ctrl a button or you can also select it by your mouse okay I hold ctrl key click click okay or in other ways click here hold shift key and click here okay there are several ways and press commit button okay and you need to write a message here some more changes okay this is the message which we were writing with minus m here you can see i have added a new file which is untracked but i don't need to add it manually to the git version control i can directly make commit with that file and a smart git will take care of all the things a smart git will take care of this this part okay this part and another thing i would like to tell you we don't need to do this step in a smart git because we have a ui okay we have a ui and we can select the files by the cursor by using the cursor in command line you cannot select files like that so when you say please commit the files git doesn't know that which file you wanted to add okay git doesn't know so that's why i think that's why you need to add files first in the version controlling system okay so but in this screen the case is different okay if you don't want it to add other files you just wanted to add single file in your commit you can sing simply select one file and hit commit okay it will not add all the things so that's why i think uh, the ui tool doesn't need that step so well if you really want to add it manually you can simply stage it okay added if you really wanted to edit the file explicitly you can simply stage it and you can unstage as well okay so it is back to the previous state okay so select all files and simply commit commit it down okay one more thing in the ui tool you have another benefit of easy comparison okay so i have selected the note.txt here you can see the previous state and here you can see the new state you can see a green line which is uh, which is added in this commit okay and the binary files you simply see the hash calculation so this was the previous hash and this is the new hash this is not a text file so it is it can't be displayed it can't be a compare like text file and here is the untracked file so this file doesn't have anything because this file is not yet added so as soon as uh, i know this file have doesn't have anything let me check okay another text uh, okay another file with some text okay okay so this file is untracked so that's why you cannot see the previous state you can only see the current state okay you can stage it you can unstage it depends on your case i think you don't need to do a stage thing you simply select all and commit okay and the commit message is some more changes you can do commit and push at the same time by pressing this button but for demonstration i'm going to do it separately okay commit separately okay so you can see the journal here you can see the journal here this is the previous commit this is the current commit and you can see the red color here which indicates this commit is not yet pushed okay and you can also see one here okay this is master which indicates the local repository and here is the origin which indicates the remote repository okay you can see the you can see the origin here okay so you you can see it is saying the local repository is one commit ahead from the origin okay and as soon as we push okay we have a button to push and as i told you earlier when we press the push button actually go back to the drawing as soon as you push uh, you press the push button it execute a command on command line okay 
So let's execute that command. Push that. Okay. Now you can see the master, which is local repository, and the origin are equal. Okay. There is no difference between them. They are equal. And you can see the red color is disappeared because these both commits are now in cloud, are, are now in GitHub. So now we have completed all the steps. Okay. We have added all the files. Actually, uh, smart git added all the files on my behalf and we have committed the changes with a message using a smart git and we push the changes by pressing push button okay so this is the procedure which is gonna followed by the person who is going to create the repository okay so most probably the project owner so if i am the project owner I will create a repository and I will do all these steps okay I will give them some initial data I will uh, make repository I will add initial data I will push it in the in github okay so what other people will do okay let's say go back to github refresh it should say two commit okay previously it was one now it is two and we can see the the commits here we can see the commits here okay go back okay now what we can do is we can open file right here and we can make changes in files right here so we are going to make some changes some changes from github directly okay some changes using github directly okay just ignore this terminal actually this is something else not related to this course okay so i am going to commit these changes right here okay the default message is up, update another text another node.txt so i'm not gonna change this default message and simply commit out with this okay so now we have total uh, three commits not two okay go to the the commit message okay the latest commit is 13 seconds ago which the changes i have made in another text another node.txt okay but in my local repository i don't have those changes okay i have only two commits and if i need to see all the commits what i need to do is we need to press log okay here i have a list of all commits okay and i can go to each commit separately and i can see the changes made in that commit okay go back to this one this one has this this one has this but how do i get the third commit right here and if i say in, an, in other words how my friends gonna see what changes i'm doing in the project okay let's say we are three friends and i am project owner let's say and i created some work i created some repository for them they clone that repository and now they are gonna change in repository somehow and i am gonna make some changes by time so how do we get the changes of each other so we need to press the pull button okay by pressing the pull button what smart git will do smart git will go to the github and see if any commits are there so it will simply pull that in your machine okay by pull that okay it will ask you for the two option the most common is merge i'm not gonna discuss uh, rebase and merge at this step okay so simply merge it and it is asking you uh, it is um, asking you to pull okay pull no problem okay so now you can see this is two commit and now it is three okay so actually we are not going to follow the command line but it is still important for you to understand what command a smart git is using behind the scene okay to demonstrate that i am going back to github i am going back to github and i will make another change and this time we will pull that change using command line instead of uh, smart git okay okay so this time i'm gonna remove this line okay no need to add something simply remove that, that line okay comment so this is the fourth commit i'm gonna make 
Okay, so this is the fourth commit. And in our local repository, we have three commits so far. So what we need to do, we need to go back to our work directory. Okay, this is our work directory. You can see this in the work directory. By, by seeing this, you can identify this is my work directory. Open command prompt, git clone, no, not clone, git pull, okay. So the command is very simple, git and pull, okay. So now go back to smart git and see, okay, we can see the fourth commit here. Okay, this is synchronized in real time. So what you do with the command prompt doesn't matter, it will show in the uh, a smart git because actually a smart git is nothing but a ui but an interface to interact what actually a smart git does when you press a button pull or push or anything a smart git will go to this terminal okay exactly this one and execute commands on your behalf okay so i simply pull using the command okay no problem simply close it so that's all for now we have done with the push and pull changes and in the next video we will explore uh, the branches and all the things so yeah keep practicing these things and i'm going to make a slack channel for this Okay, so don't forget to join the Slack channel if you're if you're getting some problems or something, you can ask question here in the question section, or you may join Slack channel to ask questions there. And if you are an expert of Git, I I appreciate uh, you if you join the Slack channel and help each other in the channel uh, and you know uh, in the community you learn very fast so i recommend you to go to the slack channel and join the community to get instant answers you can also contact individuals in the slack remove the individual sentence okay so what you can do is you will simply create a question on a stack overflow and you will simply paste the link of that question in the slack channel okay so using this technique you will get a large audience okay and whenever you are going to ask question somehow i recommend you to ask question on uh, on a stack overflow first and get the link of a stack overflow question and paste that link all over there okay you can make issue on github uh, you can uh, paste that link on udemy question section you can paste that link in some blog or something or youtube video command and you can paste that link in any community including the slack channel and all the things so this is the way you might get a large audience this is not guarantee but hopefully you will get a larger audience using this technique Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now and we will meet in next video.